A community is rallying together tonight to pick up the pieces. This after an EF2 tornado with wind speeds of 135 miles per hour ripped through Bedford County early Friday morning. As you can see here in this video, it left behind miles of destruction. 10 News reporter Courtney Lockie is working for you to show how far they've come since the storm moved through. This wasn't the way neighbors planned to spend their holiday weekend, but it's looking like it's how they'll be spending the rest of summer, cleaning up the devastation left behind by Friday's tornado. I was in the bed and the cats took off running first and I knew something was wrong and then it sounded like a train coming through the house. Patricia Spruce has lived in this forest house for 20 years and she's never been so afraid. The tree in her yard came within two feet of crashing into her bedroom. I was just hoping I'd get out in time because I just knew it was going to hit the house. When the storm passed, the first thing she did was check up on her neighbors. When she learned everyone was going to be okay, they got to work. Thank you to all the people who are willing to come out and support. It really shows you that people do come together. Rescue crews are out here each day checking on neighbors. The power is back on for most, and a lot of folks are waiting on insurance companies. To come back today and just see the miraculous recovery of all the efforts, a lot has changed. It changed the whole landscape and but you know sometimes change is good but maybe not this much at one time. Patricia is still finding things like her flag which once flew proudly on her back porch. It's now out front in the middle of all the devastation serving as a reminder of how the community came together and will continue to until the job is done. People pull together in a time like this we're not divided. In Bedford County, Courtney Lockie, 10 News working for you.